Hey Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How's it rolling? I hope everybody had a good holiday season. I took the entire month of December off so I could finish publishing Tarot School and I'm very happy to say that if you are interested in reading the cards, learning how to read the cards the way that I read the cards, or you would just like to have um, some more understanding of what you're hearing in a tarot card reading, then Tarot School is for you. There is a link in the box below that will take you to the page where Tarot School is hosted. Um, seven video series, um, all 78 of the cards, and then I teach you how to read the cards at the end of Module 1. So if you're interested, check out the link in the box below or you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com. Right on. All right, Aries. So as usual, the usual spiel, right? This is a general reading for the collective of Aries. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart or you're cross-watching for an Aries, this very well may resonate with you. You may find yourself anywhere in this reading. Maybe it hasn't begun for you yet. Maybe you're in the middle of it. Maybe it's over for you. So that being said, if you would like more confirmation, understanding, clarity, wisdom, and guidance, have your cards read. You can reach me again at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, I have my cards read by a reader here on YouTube. Her name is Miriam Kramer at Point Your Compass. Um, she's awesome. She's a lot like me. That's why I was attracted to her in the first place. Okay, so Aries, here we go. This is your reading for January-ish, right? There's no time in the tarot, but for those of you who need a box to put it in, this is for January-ish, okay? All right. All right, Aries, so let's get into this. <clears throat> you open this reading. Well, first of all, I want to point out, in the middle of your reading, this entire reading surrounds around, uh, around the Nine of Swords in reverse, okay? This Nine of Swords in reverse is about hopelessness and torment and it's clarified by the empress in reverse which is about um, a creative block okay so this whole reading revolves around your feelings of hopelessness when it comes to some kind of creative block in your life okay first card out is the star in reverse the star in reverse talks about self-doubt okay lots of self-doubt going on aries clarified by the five of wands conflict right there's conflict competition struggle um, within yourself because you have some self-doubt and you have a lot of internal conflict happening to the eight of cups in reverse this is about disappointment abandonment to the emperor in reverse. This would be you, Aries, but in the reverse, this card is about somebody who is super insecure, right? Because the emperor upright, holy cow, right? All kinds of confidence, all kinds, and you know, an initiator, wise, just, just a really solid kind of guy. But in the reverse, he loses all of that, and he becomes a very insecure person filled with with self-doubt. And that's how we open this reading, Aries. You have a lot of self-doubt, a lot of internal conflict, a lot of um, feelings of disappointment and abandonment, and you're, you're, you're hyper insecure about whatever this is that's going to unfold in this reading. It's followed by the alchemist in reverse. This alchemist in reverse is a card about um, untapped talents in this particular placement in this particular reading. It's about untapped talents, clarified by the three of pentacles, which is teamwork and collaboration. So this tells me that you have a lot of self-doubt over here about some kind of teamwork and collaboration that you would like to manifest into your life, but untapped talents tells me that you just really don't know how to go about manifesting teamwork and collaboration teamwork or collaboration let's just say collaboration you don't quite know how to go about manifesting the collaboration that you want to manifest because you're filled with self-doubt and insecurity Prince of Cups in reverse. This tells me like that you feel that it is unrealistic to share your emotions with somebody else. You feel like it's unrealistic to share your emotions with somebody else and you just don't know how to come about manifesting um, some kind of collaboration with another person or another entity. 
Strength in reverse comes in and says that you're pulling on some inner strength, right? Pulling on some inner strength, trying to, to come to terms with the goal that you want to achieve, that you're feeling really insecure about to the five of cups in reverse this is about wanting forgiveness okay forgiveness so this whole top row here is about aries feeling hyper insecure um, about manifesting some kind of collaboration into their life they feel like it's unrealistic to share their feelings pulling on some inner strength because they really want the five of cups in reverse they really want the situation um, to be resolved they want forgiveness in the situation chariot comes in to clarify the five of cups in reverse chariot comes in and talks about having the determination and the willpower to take the action that's necessary to achieve success this is also a card about rolling down the path of a new beginning and that's what aries is going to do aries wants forgiveness in this situation and they are going to move forward with the chariot to achieve some kind of of um resolve to what's happening here tower moment comes in this is aries being awakened to the inner strength that they're seeking with the strength in reverse this is aries having an awakening an epiphany a revelation about how they're going to go about achieving what it is that they want to achieve because we all know don't try to stop an aries from achieving what they want to achieve you might be fooled with filled with fooled <laughs> you might be filled with self-doubt you might have a lot of insecurity right here but that doesn't matter for aries right you're going to process that and you are going to move forward with the chariot to get forgiveness in a situation because you've had an awakening about the eight of pentacles about what it is you want to build in your life simple as that you have had an awakening about what it is you want to build in your life and you're going to roll forward with the chariot and seek some kind of closure or forgiveness with the five of cups in reverse despite your insecurity at the moment because you see this as the nine of cups wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction that is the goal of what it is that you're going for you see whatever this situation is that you are insecure about but you're going to have an awakening and move forward to um, engage and build something in your life you see whatever this is as the nine of cups this is your wishes fulfilled this is what you want in your life damn it this is what you want and as an aries ain't nothing stopping you from getting it except for your own self-doubt and your own insecurity but you're going to deal with that as well right eight of swords in reverse this is about releasing the mental right eight of swords upright she's about um, movement action change what do i do how do i change this situation what moves do i make to get myself out of this in the reverse she's already out right she's already out she's releasing all of that mental and she's open to new perspectives and that's what you've done aries you've released the mental and now you're open to new perspectives because you see this situation as wishes fulfilled so how did you go about releasing this mental well you went into the hierophant in reverse this is about your personal belief system you have this awakening in this tower moment up here this revelation this awakening in the tower moment put you in the energy of the eight of swords in reverse right releasing the mental what are you releasing the the um i'm sorry the hierophant in reverse this is your personal beliefs you are releasing personal beliefs about what you think is going to happen in this situation and you're giving it up you're just giving it up you're like you know what i don't care i don't care what's going to happen in this situation all i know is i need to move forward grab the bull by the horns i think i said that in the scorpio reading <laughs> grab the bull by the horns and i'm going to manifest this into my life i am releasing my limiting beliefs i'm reevaluating my personal belief system I'm coming out of the mental and i am releasing it to the ten of swords you are releasing in the nine of cups in reverse you are releasing your limiting beliefs your personal beliefs about a situation that was dead and gone 
that you are still stuck to. Six of Cups in Reverse is about being stuck in the past. Six of Cups in Reverse is about unrealistic energy too, right? Uh, Six of Cups Upright, reuniting and reconciling. Six of Cups in Reverse, reuniting and reconciling is unrealistic. That's what you're releasing right here, Aries. You are releasing the mental turmoil associated with your limiting beliefs, your personal beliefs, about something that ended that you're still stuck on, but up until this point, you have felt it was unrealistic to reunite or reconcile your differences. That's what you're releasing. You're releasing your limiting beliefs about how this is going to play out for you. Nine of Swords in reverse in the center of your reading. This is hopelessness. This is despair. This is like massive anxiety, okay? But this is also coming out of that because nines are about fruition attainment right fruition attainment fulfillment and completion and yes completion everybody's like oh but 10 is completion no nine is completing your pursuit of success 10 is standing on that success and moving forward so with this nine of swords in reverse to the empress in reverse right nine of swords hopeless to the empress in reverse this is a creative block right so the center of your reading this whole re reading revolves around you coming to terms with a creative block that has happened in some kind of a situation or relationship in your life right coming to terms with it because what follows it is the princess of wands and the princess of pentacles this Princess of Wands is all about enthusiasm, excitement, exploration, and discovery. And the Princess of Pentacles is about the manifestation of something. You want to explore, discover, move, move forward with a sense of excitement, explore and discover a brand new beginning. You want to manifest something new in this situation what do you want to manifest five of cups in reverse forgiveness you want to manifest the mending of this situation to strengthen reverse pulling on some serious inner strength right because you're scared you are you're aries you're you're, you're afraid of how this you're afraid of your own insecurity okay afraid of your own insecurity pulling on a lot of inner strength to be strong, to be able to do what needs to be done because you've had a revelation and an awakening about what it is that you need to do. To the lover's card, this is about a significant relationship in your life. Doesn't have to be a lover's situation. It can be family, it can be friends, it can be business, it can be your neighbors, whatever it is, but it's a significant relationship in your life. So what these cards are telling me is that you are going to take some inspired action to reach out, send some messages, and create a new beginning in this situation. You want forgiveness of the situation, pulling on a lot of inner strength, because you have to be strong to do this because you're filled with self-doubt in regards to some kind of significant relationship in your life. Wow. Wow. Four of Wands, you want to create structure, stability, and foundation in a harmonious relationship to the Sun card because you truly, truly feel like this is what is going to bring you happiness, success, and vitality into your life. You truly feel it. It's right underneath the Nine of Cups too, right? Wishes fulfilled. This is what you want. Okay, and you're overcoming your insecurities, self-doubt, and fear, and you are going for it, as in typical Aries fashion. Love it. I'm Aries cusp. Love it. Ace of Swords. You are going to speak some truth. You are going to speak some truth to the other party in this situation, and you are going to not only speak your truth, but you're going to speak truth about the toxicity in the past. You're going to speak your truth about why this didn't work. 
to the Four of Cups. You're going to speak your truth about what you think about the situation. To the Page of Swords in reverse, the all talk, no action, undelivered promises. These four cards right here say that you are going to speak your truth to the other person or the other people in this situation about what went down in the past and what you think about the situation and why there was all talk, no action, undelivered promises, why this whole thing um, fell apart and disintegrated. And you're going to speak your truth about it. Ten of Swords, right? You're going to speak your truth about why this whole situation ended in the first place. The world to the Ace of Cups. This is going to create a cycle closure. This is going to close out this disturbing chapter in your life and it's going to release you into a brand new chapter and a brand new cycle to the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love, brand new beginning in feelings, overwhelming feelings, my cup overfloweth, okay? This is going to release you into a new cycle of emotional stability and um, possibly, possibly love. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Moon, Judgment in reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Fool in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. What do these cards say? This says that this truth that you're speaking that is going to take you into a new cycle of this relationship, this truth that you're speaking is about why somebody was left out in the cold, why you left somebody out in the cold, why they left you out in the cold. I feel like you left somebody out in the cold here, Aries. I don't know though. I don't know. It, it could go any way. You know, this is a general reading. I am restricted to the but and the ifs and the ands instead of the who, what, when, where, why, and how. But somebody left somebody out in the cold and there is some serious truth that's going to be spoken about this. This truth to the nine of wands this truth is is to the moon card hold on let me wrap my mind around this real quick so the five of pentacles left out in the cold nine of wands talking to us about persistence resilience to the moon why you didn't answer the call done with the foolishness okay okay Okay, so this, this truth that's going to be spoken is about somebody being left out in the cold, right? Somebody, somebody, somehow, some way, being left out in the cold. To the Nine of Wands, this truth is going to be about how you're just tired of it. You're tired of it. You're tired of all of the, um, the grief that it has caused you right? And the, the lack of creation between the two of you, you're just tired of it, tired of it. To the moon, you have searched your subconscious mind and your intuition. Judgment in reverse, self-doubt, right? You've searched your subconscious mind, your intuition, and you've come to terms with your self-doubt, which has spurred you to move forward and, and want to manifest a brand new beginning in this situation. The fool in reverse, you're tired of the foolishness right? You're tired of the foolishness. This is also a card about taking a risk. And I think that's what you're going to do too. This is about taking a risk, right? That's why you're insecure because it is a risk. To the nine of pentacles, going to bring the whole thing to a culmination. This truth that you're speaking is bringing the entire situation to a culmination. That's beautiful. So what happens? What's the outcome? Well, the eight of pentacles, this truth that you're speaking, this risk that you're taking, the foolishness that you're stopping, this awakening, this revelation that you're having about what it is that you want to build into your life, wishes fulfilled, structure, foundation, stability, happiness, success, vitality, love, okay? This truth that you're speaking about all of this creates the eight of pentacles. It creates an energy of engaging engaging building something okay 
engaging and building something to the fool card a brand new beginning and a brand new journey you speaking your truth aries creates a brand new beginning and the potential to build an extremely stable foundation for this relationship this card is also, it's more than just a, a new beginning and a new journey, right? This card is about preparing to take a quantum leap and an emotional rebirth that puts you in the energy of a new beginning and on a new journey in your life. The Eight of Wands in reverse, no more delays, no more resistance, no more stalling, no more frustration. Because happiness success and vitality this is what you want second time the sun card has been in this reading this is what you want this is the and this is the result of you coming clean in this whole situation aries in the whole situation you come clean about how you feel and it creates happiness success and vitality puts you on a new journey and begins to lay the foundation of a very solid relationship let's say ten of wands to the hangman to the three of pentacles okay to the judgment in reverse okay and the wheel okay these three cards what do they say right here four five five cards these five cards what do they say these cards say that the burden and the struggle now for you aries the burden and the struggle now for you to the hangman in reverse is to figure out the three of pentacles how to how to um go about doing this okay that's where you're at at this point in the reading okay so so these cards go through the emotional physical and mental processes of you preparing to do this it tells us what the outcome is the outcome is the eight of pentacles in the fool and the sun right the outcome is a strong foundation a new beginning a new journey happiness success and vitality it kind of puts er, let's put a period at the end of that and start a new paragraph so now aries is in there in there in their passions with the eight of i'm sorry the ten of wands the burden and the struggle now to the hangman is trying to figure out the three of pentacles how to go about actually creating this teamwork and this collaboration how to go about it right because you do it right but it's kind of like backtracking perhaps this should have been at the beginning of the reading okay it's like a sidebar okay it's not a continuation period new chapter it's a sidebar so aries probably right now before this be before this reading even starts is trying to figure out in the hangman energy how to go about doing what needs to be done judgment in reverse this is the self-doubt right the self-doubt to the this is also about ignoring the call right and perhaps aries is a little concerned that this person won't answer the call but they will they will to the wheel in reverse this is about closing out the cycle right closing out the cycle to the hierophant ready to move forward standing in power um ready to move forward into the realm of commitment king of pentacles this is aries taking control of the situation totally and completely taking control of the situation this card is about control authority power it's about self-discipline it's about creating abundance and security and that's what aries is doing that's what aries is doing i want to point out that you could be moving towards commitment with a Taurus. Um, just, just saying, this is the card of Taurus, right? Um, anyway, just pointing that out. So definitely commitment, definitely Aries, Aries taking the bull by the horns and taking control of the situation to the two of cups to fix a broken relationship to the ten of pentacles to create the be all to end all happiness harmony and an alignment of values in a significant relationship 
seven of pentacles after much contemplation after much contemplation about um, a, a reassessment about what has happened in the past and how Aries is going to move forward after much reflection and assessment about what happened in the past the regretful but necessary transition out of being with this person six of wands in reverse the fall from grace the state of disrepute all the bullshit that happened after much reflection and assessment Aries wants to go forward and offer um, to create a brand new beginning in this situation and there you are Aries sitting in the upright taking absolute control of the situation the Aries the Emperor um, is the card of Aries but it's about and it's a he's an initiator right he he achieves he is the ultimate fire energy achievement and success determination willpower right and this is you final card in this reading sitting in the power of your throne you are no longer in reverse you're no longer insecure and afraid of your insecurities you are now sitting in the throne of your power taking complete and utter control of the situation and achieving and succeeding achieving and succeeding because now we can go right back to the beginning of this reading and talk about Aries dealing with their insecurities talking about how Aries is going to go about um, initiating a new beginning in this in this relationship how Aries is going to speak their truth that changes everything and that's a beautiful reading Aries it's a beautiful beautiful reading I wonder if we have time for a, a uh, let's do an Oracle let's do an Oracle let's see okay this is the numerology guidance card spirit what do you have to say for Aries right here whoa what do you have to say for Aries right here Ooh, self-love card number 61 very interesting right because if you can't love yourself you can't love anybody and perhaps uh, Aries has had some kind of personal transformation here let's read self-love this card indicates a need to focus your attention on loving and believing in yourself by drawing this card you're being encouraged to make your relationship with yourself your number one priority as this is the key to happiness and the manifestation of your dreams rather than dwell upon your shortcomings you must embrace and accept who you are it's now time to start treating yourself like a friend by replacing your negative self-talk with positive affirmations statements that affirm that you're lovable worthy and perfect just as you are help raise your energy vibration and improve your life circumstances in order to improve your current situation you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life cycles that are encouraging you to love and believe in yourself remember you're an ongoing work in progress and you didn't choose to come here to be the perfect person with the perfect life everything in your life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself so nurture yourself with love that is so true right because Aries is filled with self-doubt up here self uh, tons of just insecurity and self-doubt and what this is saying is that you need to accept yourself for who you are and if this other person or these other people don't then so be it but they do Aries <laughs> they do they do this turns out wonderful for you when you speak your truth um, with self-confidence and self-love this person um, absolutely positively will respond in a positive way or these people all right there you go Aries that's your reading I do hope you enjoyed it deep thoughts with Dana.com for a personal reading or to check out tarot school namaste